and I'm uh, heading into about a 30 to 35 mile an hour headwind. Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man. Welcome to Welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. As you can see, it's probably one of the most miserable days you could have to ride a motorcycle to West Texas. I'm heading west on Interstate 20 right now. And as you can see up ahead, I think you could probably see it on the GoPro. It's just like a wall of dust. And I'm uh, heading into about a 30 to 35 mile an hour headwind. This is one of the reasons I moved away from West Texas in 1987. Because the wind and the dust can be relentless. But I left my home in uh, Carrollton at about 5.30 a.m. this morning and uh, the winds were coming out of the south so I have a little bit of a crosswind until about 50 or 60 miles ago and then the uh, wind started coming out of the west right heading right into me and this is the first time that I can recall in a long time that I've had uh, winds hitting me head on. I'm usually getting a pretty strong wind from the south, but not today. So fortunately it's not too hot yet. It's about nine o'clock in the morning and the temperature has actually been dropping. It was about 84 degrees when I left this morning at 530 and right now it's only 78 degrees. I'm not sure why, because it's supposed to get up to 100 degrees today. But I'll take it. At least I'm not hot and dusty and windy. So I'm curious to know how many of you have ridden in seriously windy, dusty conditions what your experience has been, please put it in the comments below. I also, before I uh, left, last night I made a quick video on how I packed up the bike for the trip. Now I'm traveling alone on this trip, but I can usually pack enough stuff on this uh, 2018 Goldwing to last me at least five, maybe, maybe as much as seven days by myself without having to pull a trailer, without having to use a seat bag, just using the trunk and the saddlebags. So I'm going to take a little break and let you watch that video on how I packed up the gold lamp. I promised you I would show you how I packed the bike. And before I do that, I want to show you what I'm taking just so you get kind of an idea here. Okay, first I've got a liner for my jacket. This is a rain a waterproof liner in case it rains. I have a pair of jeans, which I left out because it's easier for me to pack that way. I also have one of these packables from Eagle Creek, and inside here are all of my shirts, uh, my underwear, uh, pajamas, things like that. I am going to take out, I've got some socks in here, I'm going to take those socks out, and I'm going to stuff them inside these shoes, because they make a good, almost like a shoe tree to help the shoes keep their shape. And the inside of these shoes is a good place to store socks, underwear, things like that, small items. So I will be stuffing those socks inside these shoes here in just a little bit before I pack them up to go. I also have the rain cover 
for the ultimate seat because I will be using the ultimate seat on this road trip. And let's see, let me move on down here and I'll show you what else we got. I always take some microfiber cloths just in case it rains or I get, get the bike wet, I can dry it off. I have a first aid kit that I keep in one of the saddlebags. Here is another Eagle Creek bag that I have all my toiletries, shave kit, all that stuff in. Believe it or not, I'm actually taking this little water pick with me. It's small enough to travel with, and so I'm taking that. Uh, over here I have a, a little tool kit, and I just have a couple of sockets and wrenches and some uh, tire uh, repairs, uh, uh, sticky ropes, and things like that. I have a small drill. And when I'm uh, on the road and motor vlogging, I'll tell you why I take a drill and a few drill bits with me on the trip. I also have my laptop, my MacBook Pro, 13 inch, and an external hard drive. Here I've got my coffee that I take with me when I travel. And I've got two bottles of this uh, uh, disinfectant cleaner that I'm taking to my brother out in West Texas. And also, I'm going to be taking this ice chest. Now, I don't have the ice in it yet because this is the night before I leave. But I'll show you where I'm going to put this. It'll actually go in the uh, trunk. So let me start loading this stuff up, and I'll show you how I packed the bike up on this 2018 Honda Goldwing. I've got my saddlebags open and cleaned out. I have my trunk cleaned out. And I have the bike on the center stand. It's actually easier to pack the bike with it on the center stand. Not sure why the bike's turned on right now. Okay, so here's my right saddlebag. I was able to get the water pick to kind of sit back there in that little well. I've got my Eagle Creek packable here with all my shirts and other stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay these blue jeans right here. And then when I go to close the saddlebag, you can see it will close. Well, I say it will close. It should close. There we go. So that will be the right saddlebag. And that will get that stuff out of the way. Now let's go do the left saddlebag. Okay, I'm going to show you this water pick again. I got the water pick and I have my rain cover kind of shoved in on top of that. That's the rain cover for the uh, ultimate seat. So that's what I've got. Now I'm going to put my packable back here and my blue jeans and my microfibers will go in on top of that. Now if we go around to the left side, you'll see I got my two pair of shoes, my uh, walking shoes. Down below there, the orange is the first aid kit. On top of that is my little tool kit. You can see my little Bosch drill right there. And on top of that is the liner for my jacket. Now what I'm going to do, before I close this, I've got my laptop right here. And I will set it in there. And you can see that will close just fine with the laptop. Now here in the trunk, I've got my ice chest, which is kind of flat right now because I don't have my ice and bottle of water and stuff in there, medications and things. I also will have my two bottles of the disinfectant cleaner. I'll have my coffee right here. And I'll have my toiletry bag go over here on the side. And as you can see, I've still got a little room here to work with. But the trunk, believe it or not, will close with those in there. Okay. So I think we're set. And there, I could have probably put these in the saddlebags, but I would have had to lean them over. And I didn't, I didn't want to risk leaking this stuff leaking out. These are actually too tall to sit in the saddlebag straight up, but they will fit in the trunk, believe it or not. And uh, that's how I'm packing for my trip to West Texas. And of course, it's just me going. It's not Ricky. If she was going with me, we'd have to pull a trailer. There's no way I can fit 
two people's worth of stuff in here and I'll be gone five days. So I've got five days worth of stuff. Now, if we look up here in my glove box, I've just got a few little incidental things. I've got a my uh, SoCal Moto Gear Pathfinder LED work light that I take with me everywhere. I've got some USB cables in here, uh, some sunscreen. I also have some instructions for the Cardo that I always forget how to pair it in case I lose pairing. And I have some of these uh, wet ones. I keep a few uh, little pouches of those with me. And then I've also got like a Leatherman uh, all-in-one tool. And of course, I've got one of my masks in case I decide to not get the COVID on this trip. So that's pretty much it. Now, I'll have a couple of things in my jacket, you know, in the pockets of my jacket. But everything pretty much is going in the bike, as you can see here. So my packing methods are a little different than probably a lot of people. I did use one of those packables from Eagle Creek. <clears throat> Ricky and I use these quite a bit when we travel, you know, to take our cruises or whatever. So we've been using those for years. I did mention in the video that I take a small rechargeable drill. It's actually a Bosch drill and it will fit in the saddlebag and I take two or three drill bits with me and the reason I do that is because just in case I get a, a nail or a puncture in my rear tire fortunately I've never had to use it on the front tire if you've ever I use the sticky rope uh, plugs to repair a tire. One thing I did forget to mention in the video is an air compressor and I do have a little small air compressor that I keep in the saddlebag as well. But if you've ever had to patch a tire, they give you that little tool to ream out the hole so that you can get the plug in. Personally, I've never been able to get that little reaming tool to work. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. I don't know. But when you're laying on your side, on the side of a road, trying to push that reaming tool in, you're at kind of an odd angle anyway. So what I do is I use a drill. And I just drill out a hole in the tire big enough to put in the sticky rope. And I've done that on two or three occasions and it's worked very well. So I'd be curious to know, for those of you that have ever plugged a tire, how have you done it? Now I've been very fortunate, knock on wood, but I've been very fortunate that I've never had to plug a tire on the highway. I've always done it in my uh, garage at home. But I'll be curious to know how many of you have had to plug tires on a ride. And I may end up, uh, when I, I'm going to be stopping in about 10 miles to get gas. And I realize I'm going to have to probably take these GoPros off and let them uh, get them away from all this dust. There's a, I can see a lot of dust on the dash already. I can already see some dust on the lens of this GoPro. And um, I don't really want to get too much dust introduced into these GoPros. So I'm going to wrap this up. I will try to get this video edited tonight. I appreciate you joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Blog. I hope I have a little nicer ride on the way home. And I will see you next time on Cruise Man's Motor Blogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.